with the pandemic and everything, at first we were very critical of how we were gonna enter this place because everybody might be afraid and everybody might not be open to a new set of people moving in here. But with the whole community and with them being well-versed with different topics and them um, reading about the pandemic, the virus, how they accepted us was a very educated manner of things. They knew which was dangerous, which we had to avoid as well. There was certain rules that we followed, which is wearing the face mask when we're out. We get tested regularly. And if we do go down Manila, we get tested before we go back up again. That's all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need. process they also guided us into moving here so with me it was the people in GNW which are several restaurants and the tattoo shop and the coffee shop and with me being there all the time because it's the parents of my students that own the businesses there and work there I got to really meet them in an intimate scenario because La Union was closed when we got here and the more we talked, the more I realized that these people made the decision to move here with the same ideologies, why we wanted to move to a beach scenario with the same mindset of sustainability and not just living and trying to chase for that money and expanding, but more on growing and caring about the people that we're surrounded with and where we are as well. Bunch of guys posted like Jose, uh, Rainer, uh, so uh, and Joel. So uh, I decided to um, try it out. La Union is uh, special for me because of the community. Uh, you have the Jiu-Jitsu community, surfing community. Everyone here in La Union is like uh, really friendly uh, and real. My dad um, has been living in La Union since after I was born, mga 82. And then he found this spot. He, he was coming here na every, almost every day to surf. We lived dun sa susunod pa na town in Bawang. And then around, I think, 1990, he bought this land. And then 92, we started building. We started building a house and then a few bungalows for his friends when they come over. Well, definitely gave jobs to a lot of locals. Um, mostly my friends, mga kababata ko rin. And then, yeah, when we first started the surf school, I think it was around 97 or 98. We would probably get one student a month. And then eventually it just grew, you know, more and more people came, more and more people talked about it. Social media wasn't um, a thing before, so it was more of word of mouth talaga. Well, when we started our coffee shop, there weren't other establishments, or there weren't very many other establishments nearby. Um, we're an eight-year-old company, and I think that we've witnessed and been part of this wave of um, independent businesses that have set up here. So when we started out, it was really for very human reasons. Like, I didn't really get into it because I wanted to sell coffee or because I particularly enjoyed coffee, although I enjoy coffee and love it. But the main reason was really human. Like, I wanted to live by the beach with my with my kids and spend every day at the beach with them. And having a coffee business was really just a vehicle for that. We have pursued that wholeheartedly. We've tried to do our best as a coffee company and even earned a bit of a reputation and following as such. Our coffee story during the pandemic was actually, is actually our favorite story because it allowed us, the pandemic was tricky because you didn't want to have a lot of inventory and you didn't want to overspend. But at the same time, our friends up in the Cordilleras who farm our coffees, they're known for their excellence and ethics and 
Um, we wanted to stand by them and purchase coffee in the middle of the pandemic, even though our shop was at 1% at the time of its sales capacity. Um, but we built a web store. Um, we developed a, our logistics so that we could send coffee. And we've survived the pandemic by, by doing that. Yeah, I seen a bad little drone with a cute little figure. I might just hit her. My name is Gian Grifoni. We are right now in La Union at the deck overlooking Kermit La Union at the deck overlooking the third spot of the main third spot of the region. Like I grew up in different concept of restaurant. I like the contact with people. I like good food. And uh, I think I'm, we are doing uh, authentic Italian food. Uh, we try to do our best. Uh, authentic Italian food uh, with real ingredients. For me, Italian food is, is simple food. That's what I like. It's not overwhelming with flavors. It's just good ingredients, put it together. Long story short, I'm the best man here, so why would you pay that guy? Why? The community is great. I mean, I've been sponsoring surfer here for a few years, uh, so I mostly know only local surfer, but now I start to know better all the other uh, business establishment, uh, the owners, and it's been great. They're always all supportive, very open-minded. I love it. Hmm. Good question. Um, more establishments and more people taking care of the environment. Yeah. I've just noticed when La Union was booming, there were there was no sense of ano na, parang neighborhood. Parang everyone just came here to earn money. That's it. Period. They don't care about if their drainage were go was going back to the water. They don't care about their trash, ano scattered everywhere. I just hope and pray really na people will because of the lockdown, para may iisip nila na, oh, okay, we have to take care of our environment because, dude, that the ocean is free, you know, we might as well take care of it. So in the future, our kids can play there, they're gonna benefit from it too, so, yeah. For me, is the vibe. Like, Shargao is beautiful, of course, but there is something that, that's a vibe. I think it's the people. Here is the same, there is different surfing destination, different beach destination, but uh, it's the vibe as well uh, that make this place great. Like different factors with the vibe makes this place what is it and it's, uh, people want to come here and more and more and more. Well for me La Union community is about, it's, it's a beautiful melting pot of people. Um, you have people who are from here, um, born and raised here, grown up on these shores. You'll have a few of the, so your kind of traveling surfers that have set up their lives here. Over the past few decades, you have the foreigners and Manila folks that have moved here. To me, community is about diversity. It's about complementing and respecting each other. I think that um, that's one of the reasons why I live in, why I moved to and continue to live in La Union, is that it's a wonderful platform, I think, for me to, to explore community, to explore um, how we can be creative about it, how we can explore new ways of, uh, of living in, in the midst of one another, of uh, moving around each other and living lives together and respecting and um, loving each other throughout that process. So moving forward as we stay longer here, we want to start getting more students by giving scholarships to the locals and just showing what we can offer and what jiu-jitsu can offer to them. We want to expand by teaching more local, local surfers and the people that don't have sports yet, more on the basis of self-defense and just living in that lifestyle of expression and passion because in your day-to-day -day life, you get stressed all the time. And I feel like jiu-jitsu, in the most basic sense, allows you to be relaxed and be comfortable with the most uncomfortable scenarios. <laughs>